This is the part 2 of our PFSense videos, how to install PFSense. So to configure our PFSense via web graphical user interface, we must change or configure our network settings. Our desktop network settings must be at the same network and subnet with our PFSense box. So I'll change my IP here and I will use the 192. 168 one dot let's say 48 subnet mask and here in the gateway so I'm having 192.168.1.1 here because my pfSense LAN IP is 192.168.1 so if your LAN IP of your pfSense is 192.168.1.3 then you should have 192.168.1.3 as default gateway here So, in DNS, I'll just put 192.168.1.1 also, and the open DNS 8888. Then, close everything. Now, I have to check if my computer communicates with my PFSense router or with my PFSense box. So, to check, I will issue the command ping here in our command prompt cmd so i'll issue ping space 192.168.1.1 so that's ping space then the ip of your pfsense so i'm having a reply so it's all okay so if you don't have that reply you should con reconfigure your network settings next is we should open our browser and then let's type the IP of our PFSense box to open the web configuration. So I have 192.168.1.1. Then I will just continue. Understand the risk. Add exception. Confirm. Okay. So our default username is admin. If you remember on, on our first video. And the default password is PFSense. We can change that later. Then we will have the setup wizard. So this will guide us on our initial configuration of PFSense. So let's click next. Here we must provide our host name, domain, then DNS and other DNS. But for me, I just provide a host name and a domain. So it's up to you. So whatever you do you like to be your host name or your domain. So it's your choice. So as for me I'm just happy with my PFSense as host name and domain CCS links. Then I just click next and for time zone. So I'm from Philippines, so I select Asia Manila. Then I click next. Here in DHCP settings. Uh, I will just leave the default here. I don't want to change anything here. Click next. Here in LAN configuration, LAN interface. So you can change your LAN IP of your PFSense here. But for me, I'm just happy with my default IP, the 192.168.1.1. But of course, you can change that later. Admin password, so our default password is pfSense, so if you like to change that for your security, then you change that here. Then if you're happy with your password, just click next. Then reload. Okay, it says reload in progress. So a reload is now in progress. Please wait. The wizard will redirect to the next step once the reload is completed. So that means you, sh you have to be patient. You have to be wait on this part. You have to be patient here. You have to wait. This might take long. 
but again we should wait so don't close this browser don't close this page until it is completed Okay, so the wizard completed. So, congratulations, PFSense is now configured. So, we click here to continue to PFSense web configuration. And then, here it is. Here's our dashboard. So, here in our dash dashboard, PFSense web GUI dashboard, we have here this, your system information and the interfaces so in system information widget we have the your hardware specification you can see it here and then in interfaces here's the one and your LAN you can also add available widgets here so let's try to add a widget a let's say traffic graphs to monitor our network uh, network traffic Then if you're happy with that, just save. And you can see here above, there's a lot of uh, tabs and menus here. So, interface. And here in firewall, we will use the alias and the rules on our next videos. Then on services, we will use the captive portal. We will set up that later on our next videos status diagnostic help so it's up to you to explore the menus here and the functionalities that pipsense give so for now what i want to do is to have a backup of this configuration so just in case i'll mess up with some settings and configuration of pipsense I just want to make sure that I have a backup of this default configuration. So I just click download configuration, then save it. Save it on my computer, on my files. You see here we have the XML file. So just in case that we mess up with our configuration, our setup here, our settings. So if you want to revert or uh, use the default configuration so you have to do is to browse the XML file that we just downloaded the backup and then click the restore configuration and that's it so last thing we do uh, we must do now is to reboot our pfSense to apply all the changes that we have made so, see you on our next video. That must be the how to block HTTP and HTTPS website like Facebook. And also the how to filter uh, web browsing. Okay? So, see you on our next video. Thank you for watching.